Hey everyone, Bill and Carrie with KB Tricks. Hello. We're at Hot Water View Win. We are back at the Minnesota Zoo. Uh, tonight we are checking out the Jack O'Lantern Spectacular. 2023. <laughs> As we head in, what are some things that we need to know if you're coming? Uh, so it is, you can only purchase tickets online. So you have to purchase them ahead of time. You cannot purchase them when you get to the zoo. You can if there are time slots available. Um, you can purchase them from like the parking lot, but I did just check they do have a sign up. Um, tonight is completely sold out. We're walking in, this is kind of fun. They got a little, I don't remember this last year, they got some pumpkin cutouts. As we walk in, looking very festive here with the uh, jack-o'-lantern faces. And above the door, a friendly reminder, online tickets only. Gonna go in and scan. We scanned our tickets and they gave us some wristbands to uh, put on. Little Frankenstein. Frankenstein bracelet. Frankenstein. My name is Frankenstein. Saw a lot of crowd coming from Discovery Bay. They actually have a sign that says uh, the lights are turned off by eight. Uh, so there's really not much to see in here, but it is open. Oh, that's cool. The one uh, tank is still lit. This is kind of cool to see it kind of lit up still. Got the shark, some big fish. There's another shark and a stingray at the bottom. I think this is new this year. They got like a DJ going over here as we walk in. Uh, the doors open at uh, 6.30 and close at 11. Uh, up above is the treetop trail. We have a separate video for that uh, from when that opened up. But uh, kind of cool with all the lighting around here. Getting quite a bit of the crowd that's leaving from uh, earlier time slots. We got a place open for some drinks, including alcoholic beverages. Just gonna show you the prices here so you can see for yourself what everything is gonna cost you. Uh, something to keep in mind is that there are no animals on display. No. Uh, this is a completely separate thing. That is correct. Only for jack-o'-lanterns, pumpkins, that kind of thing. Yes. Got the souvenir shop open. You can also get some drinks in here. A bunch of light up type stuff, t-shirts. Oh, the jack-o'-lantern and candy corn, that's all cute. Is that like a stress ball or something? They got a ghost. Ooh, it all lights up. Yeah, that's fun. They also have uh, pumpkins. They have pumpkins. Ah, very cute. The bats are adorable, they're 15. Here's a photo spot opportunity. You can stick your head into one of the jack-o'-lanterns for a photo. We gotta show wristbands to get down the path. And I, again, you can see the crowd leaving from the groups before. I like the lighting for the... Uh, These are fun. Yeah. So something we're doing a little different this year is uh, we're coming at a later entry time. We signed up for a nine o'clock entry time as opposed to last year, I think we did a six o'clock. Uh, no, sorry, seven o'clock entry time. Yeah, I know we did the first one the last one. We had to wait like yeah. a long time. So, so so we did that because we weren't sure about the crowd. So we're kind of curious, is it better to come earlier or later since we don't have kids? Uh, would the crowds be thicker or lighter at nine o'clock? We're over by the tiger exhibit and they have a photo opportunity. Oh, that's kind of cool next to a big Minnesota zoo pumpkin. There's a better look at the setup for your photo. Well, one thing's nice is this uh, walking path definitely seems like it's more lit this year, I believe. Remember I said the path seemed to be more lit? I was wrong. <laughs> this is fun to see. This is uh, the bathroom, kind of over by the one wolf exhibit, I think it is. Really neat how they made that look like uh, tentacles and everything. Well, one thing's for sure, the line definitely seems a lot shorter now uh, than it did uh, last year when we came in. Uh, they had people queue up. Uh, way back wherever and come to this tent to wind through there. Last year they had a live band uh, here but again we were a lot longer line at least for us. And we're coming up to the entrance and uh, over here on the right are some of the inflatable animals uh, that they've had for like the drive through exhibit a few years ago for the holidays. You can leave a link for that at the top if I remember. I think that's like a rainbow turtle. And this looks like a grizzly bear that caught a salmon in its mouth. Minnesota state bird, the leopard, loon. Yes, Carrie gave me a look. Uh, and the Minnesota state fish, the walleye, I believe. And I guess this is the official entrance. Uh, we were to walk straight up here, so this is very nice compared to uh, coming at an earlier time. Seeing our first pumpkins for the year, our jack-o'-lanterns. 
I really like the way how they have this uh, lit with all the lights of different colors shooting up the trees. Um, we're seeing more and more pumpkins as you come in. It's starting to get thicker. It'll be uh, pretty thick coming up though. Okay, you can't read it. It says, welcome to Pumpkinville, population 5,000. They're saying they got 5,000 pumpkins here on display this year. This one says, hello, March. I don't know what that means, walking type March or March the month. Each year the pumpkins have a theme. We have not discovered the theme yet, uh, which is part of the fun. This looks like a pair of porcupines. And uh, this looks like a weasel or something like that. Okay, I think March was supposed to be the season, as in the, the uh, time of year, uh, the month, because uh, that looks like um, maple syrup tapping. They got all the big pumpkins, but don't forget to look at the small ones too. They can be pretty cute or interesting themselves. Like I like the little smirk on the one down here at the bottom. This is like some sort of bird. This is the Minnesota wild. Is that breezy? That's cool. Oh, this looks like some uh, flowers. Oh, it looks like a badger or something like that. It's cute. This is a swan. Stop looking at me, swan! Okay, so it is the months of the year because now we're into April. Kind of see what April brings. As Gary said, April brings farm babies. Look at the little cow. That's cute. It's a cow, honey. It's a moo cow. Moo cow. Moo cow. And this looks like a calf cuddling with a cat. And across over the other side of the path, got a frog poking his head out of the water. Uh, looks like Minnesota. It talks about spring with the planting. Got some birds that are hatching. And April always brings spring training. So we have the twins. Bears coming out of hibernation. And there's like another uh, cute little animal. Must have been just born kind of thing. Well, it's going to May. I'm sure May flowers are in a bloom. We got the birds. Oh, it's a baby fawn with mama. That's cute. But the spring also brings possibility of storms and tornadoes. Really nice, uh, nicely done here. Very uh, detailed. It's like a goose with its mama, a baby goose. Minnesota State Flower, the Lady Slipper, and all its glory in pumpkin jack-o'-lantern form. This display is something else. Just bunches and bunches of carved uh, jack-o'-lanterns all stacked on top of each other, climbing the trees. Very depth, beautiful. Kind of in an open area. They got some uh, food and drinks. And they got another pumpkin display back over here for photo ops. It's also a souvenir stand so you can get more glow in the dark stuff. I'll try to show you some of the prices here so you kind of know what to expect. We also have uh, hot dogs for seven, corn on the cob for six, pretzel with cheese for eight. Kind of seen the low light, but here's some gigantic pumpkins that probably weigh a couple hundred pounds each. Kind of don't get the attention because they're not lit. I love this little one. I love the little smirk on it. I wish I could carve something like this. Got to make our way into June. June was welcomed us with some fish. I'm assuming because the fishing opener. A little family of bats. Got a canoe trip. Pass with laundry waters. It's a turtle. I like turtles. I like turtles. This looks like some kids outside enjoying the water playing in uh, the lake possibly or a pool. Unfortunately, uh, <laughs> June also brings the beginning of mosquito season. Another fish, well done. Here we go into July. What I like is the way how they have the music set up for each section, kind of go along with the month. This one's cute, it's a grizzly bear catching a salmon. Some raspberry picking season. And go tubing on the river. This is fun. And of course, it's a good time to go camping. Carrie really likes this one. It's Gooseberry Falls. It really captures it. Like, it looks like a uh, photo. Going across the path, a gigantic pumpkin. That one's got to be a couple hundred pounds uh, before it was carved. Football season, possibly. That looks like it could be a loon player. Minnesota United. There we go into August. 
One of my favorite months. The State Fair. Yeah. Minnesota State Fair, of course, is in August. With August, you got a sloot barbecuing and grilling. Looks like some fly fishing. You got a, someone out in a canoe, looks like they got their dog with them. You got a bird next to that. I like the lit up frog in the back there. Another uh, one of the Minnesota state birds, the loon. This one has one of its chicks on its back. Because one of the interesting things about loons is they will let their chicks ride on their backs. And then next to that is the Boundary Waters. Very unique to Minnesota. Beautiful area up there. Have you never been to the Boundary Waters? Oh, these are like Minnesota locations. Yeah, Mystery Cave. This is a cave down in Forestville, Minnesota. Kind of a cool experience. I like caves, so I try to go to them when I can. That's a state-owned cave. Looks like a hornet. I wonder if this is to represent the Renaissance Festival. Looks like a pixie. This is different, uh, like a gigantic clock. I don't remember seeing this before. Gotta make our way into September and the fall. We got another bear. Looks like it's uh, getting fat for winter. This appears to be apple picking. I'm assuming this is supposed to be uh, geese starting to fly south over the winter. We got a beavers working on our dam. And of course, September is the beginning of the school year, so it's back to school. Little pumpkin family. This monarch butterfly is beautiful. Also, the official start of football season, so they got the Vikings. We're gonna make our way into October, which of course is now jack o' lantern season. This is for the Mankato River Rambler. We got a bicycle, and I'm assuming that's Minneopa Falls. The elk or caribou, I'm not sure which. Ooh, more Halloween type stuff. Got the house with the jack-o'-lantern in front of it. This one's real neat. It's Scarecrow. Crazy detail on some of these. And it's harvest season. Got the tractor going out to collect jack-o'-lantern with a jack-o'-lantern carved on it. Is that kind of like uh, uh, getting a tattoo of your face on your body? Oh, got the black hat. Very cute. Creepy haunted house. Reminds me of the uh, Adams Family Home. Time to move into uh, November. Of course, Thanksgiving, they got a turkey. Big old slice of pumpkin pie, my favorite. Hey, Paul, Paul Bunyan, and Babe the Blue Ox. Hey, look at that, it's Split Rock Lighthouse. Time to move on into December, or they call this December. You get it December because it's cold. Yeah, it's yeah. cold, burr, cold. Yes, I understand. There's a animal a hibernating for the winter. Of course, a female reindeer. Uh, female reindeers have their antlers in the winter, so all of Santa's reindeer are women or females. And you can always go sledding, build a snowman. Oh, this one has some amazing detail on it. Got some uh, cardinals, it looks like, and other birds during the winter. On some pine trees with the pine cones. Oh, uh, check out this owl. Amazing detail on this one, too. So pretty. Can't talk Minnesota winters without snow plows. Oh, this is awesome. I love this tiger. It's also got the old uh, logo for the Minnesota Zoo on it. Uh, logo's now retired, they have a new one. A couple of uh, people knitting, it looks like. Got to move on into January. What is it, January? No, it's just January, uh -huh. hon. <laughs> Got a wolf howling at a moon that looks like a jack-o'-lantern. <laughs> Good time of year to go ice fishing. It's kind of hard to go ice fishing in June. Uh, this one's celebrating ice carving. Uh, ice skating, figure skating couple. Ah, uh, the frozen falls of Minnehaha Falls in Minneapolis. Cool experience. Polar bears. I don't know how little this one show up on camera, but it looks like a snow owl. Oh, the bear cubs are adorable. Loving it. <laughs> this one's cute. We're going into February. Just so, uh, such a happy pup by, well, wolf, I'm assuming. Looks like some sled dog racing. Got a snowmobiler. Check out the moose. 
Looks like a cute little raccoon. Cross country skier. February is uh, one of Carrie and I's favorite holiday, the uh, Groundhog Day. So I got a Groundhog Cena shadow. Carrie, why would Groundhog Day be a favorite holiday? Uh, that is because it is the day we were married. Uh, I believe this is supposed to be Fort Snelling. This appears to be the Stone Arch Bridge in Minneapolis. This owl is awesome. <laughs> Love it with the big eyes. So cool. And we're making our way out of the Minnesota Zoo in the Jack o' Lantern Spectacular. Spectacular. Uh, what do you think, hon? It was fun. Yeah. You know, I think it's it's really cute. It's really neat. It does not feel like Halloween season. It's like 80 degrees outside. Yeah, and super humid. humid. <laughs> um, but no, it was a lot of fun. We enjoyed ourselves. Yeah. Um, what are the details on this, hon? Um, it's $20 for adults. Couldn't tell you what it is for anyone else. It is running now through November 4th, oh. and it is every evening. Every evening? Every evening. Okay, it's not just a weekend thing. Nope, every evening, okay, well, and good. you pick your type. Like I said, the beginning of the video, you do need to do this online ahead of time, um, and you can reserve your spot then. Okay, excellent. Well, we want to thank you for joining us. Please do us a favor and subscribe. About 90% of our viewers are not subscribers, so help us flip that number. Also, help us reach our goal of 1,000 subscribers. We are very close, very, very close. We are single, uh, double digits now uh, until we reach your goal. So I want to thank you for that. Have subscribed and see, please do us a favor and subscribe. But uh, we would definitely do this again, right? Oh yes, love coming here every year. Uh, yeah, it's so much fun. Again, no animals, but lots and lots and lots of jack-o'-lanterns. 5,000. 5,000 they said, but had a great time. But we want to thank you for joining us. I'm Bill. I'm Carrie. You've been watching KB Treks. Do us a favor, like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Until then, good luck and have fun. See ya. Yeah, I think. Big baby, if we do anything, we do videos. <laughs>